where you live. It appears capping or a little lit on the atmosphere really helped to prevent our storms from getting uh, from getting too severe this afternoon and this evening. That's good news for us, but widespread wind damage in Ohio. We had 48 reports of damaging winds and hail in Ohio as of right now. And uh, a pretty wide swath of 70 to 90 power, uh, mile per hour winds. Actually, near Dayton, Ohio, I saw this report of a 500 pound propane tank that was rolled over by 80 mile per hour winds. So a lot of wind damage, pretty much eastern Indiana and Ohio, but really much the Hoosier State and the WL5 viewing area in pretty good shape with this. But a little dry punch of air is coming in right now. This is the dry slot, so a little bit of clearing out there, but the low clouds will pivot back in during the overnight hours. And there could even be a sprinkle or a light shower from this overnight tonight and into tomorrow. But then our attention turns towards the cold weather after a chilly, windy day tomorrow. We're talking frost and freezing conditions tomorrow night and Sunday night with lows of 31 to 36 degrees. Good potential widespread frost, so cover those tender plants. And then becoming quite active next week with a lot of rain and some storms on the way. And it looks like two or three storm systems uh, passing through. So tonight, the dry slot will move off to the east and the low gray clouds will pivot back in for tomorrow. There could be a little sun at times and there could be a sprinkle or a very light shower in an isolated fashion, but the low clouds will break up tomorrow night. That's going to allow these temperatures to drop to 32 at Morocco and Winnemac and Rochester, 31 up here towards Wheatfield, 34 at Fowler, Lafayette and Frankfurt, and about 33 at Burlington, Delphi, and 35 at Crawfordsville. Then we watch that pattern get much more active as we get into next week. Two or three weather systems bring us rain and storms. I'm going to show you that in the seven day here in just a second. But sprinkles, perhaps a very light shower as the low clouds pivot back in tonight. Windy, sharply colder, 44 for the low, only 56 tomorrow. Quite a few clouds, a little sun peeking through and a few holes here and there and a couple of sprinkles or a very light isolated shower. Still windy with winds out of the northwest 20 to 35 miles an hour. A little better on Sunday, more in the way of sunshine at 62. Some more frost on Sunday night, early Monday morning. Then Monday night, rain arrives and that will be along a warm front as the warm front moves off to the northeast. We could even have some severe weather as we get into Tuesday with a warm, humid high of 77. A little cooler Wednesday, then yet another system with rain and some storms Thursday into early Friday with highs once again in the 70s. So the main weather story this weekend is the colder weather and even some frost. And then the weather story for next week, very active. Again, two or three weather systems bring us rain, storms, and some of those storms could be severe, especially on Tuesday, Nicole. Well, it looks like you'll be busy next week too, Chad. Oh, uh, you know, we're getting into May now. We're kind of getting into go time here with severe weather. So uh, we're always keeping an eye out and we will next week. All right, thanks. Okay. And Sports Director Mike Leff is in the Sports Center tonight. Looks like you have an update on.